Now I'm going to talk about how you can uh, model and attach the screen's center to the bracket. The TV uh, screen and thus its load will be represented by a corresponding vertical force which is applied to the center of the screen. Uh, two modeling steps uh, are needed in order to achieve this. In the first step, a temporary working node is being created at the center or origin of the screen. In the second step, this node is linked, attached to the bracket by means of rigid links RBE2 element. So to do the first step, we have to unhide the geometry and we have to hide the mesh. We have to rotate our model a little bit, zoom in. Then we have to go to geometry, create nodes, and we have to select arc center. As our input, we have to pick lines. So from this menu, we have to pick lines, and we have to pick the inner, inner line, which is this one. And we have to click on create return. So as you can see our node has been created. However, the location of this temporary node is not correct because it needs to be uh, at the center of the screen, which means it needs to be it needs to be moved by 40 millimeters, which is half half the thickness of the screen in negative x direction, so in this direction. To do this, we have to go to geometry, translate nodes then we have to click our node. Here, for from this menu, we have to click x-axis because we want to move this node in the x-direction. And as a magnitude, we have to type minus 40 and then press translate plus. So this this in this case, the node is moved in this direction because the value is already minus 40. We can get the same result if we click on reject and we type simply 40 enter but from the, now we have to uh, click on translate minus to get the same result so the move the node is moved in negative x direction now we have to click on return we have to feed the model we have to hide the geometry we have to unhide the mesh okay now for uh, for the second step we have to create this rbe2 uh, element uh, we will be creating a new component. So right click, create component, RBE2, enter, and we will be assigning uh, a new color. So we'll be assigning, for, for example, or orange color. This is because we want to keep our RBE2 elements in a separate uh, collector. So once this new RBE2 co uh, collector component is uh, is uh, created it is immediately set uh, to be uh, active or current this means that what, whatever we now create whatever elements we create the, the or geometry is going to be placed in this uh, collector so now to create this uh, rbe2 element we have to go to mesh then we have to go to create and we have to select 1d element and we have to select rigids because rbe2 is Rigids. Okay, now our now we click create, and as our independent node, we click on node, and we select our temporary node which we which we just created. As our dependent node, we have to select first from this uh, first menu. We have to select multiple nodes, so we can select more than one node because original the default is single node, so just one node, but we want multi multiple nodes. Then we click on nodes and we select by path. And we have to select all the nodes placed on the uh, outer ring of this uh, of this bracket. So we have to zoom in. So we select first node. And then we select this node and then all the nodes in between are selected. So we keep we keep doing this. Now we have to do the same thing for inside. 
we just have to be careful when selecting. Now we have to zoom out, fit the model, and we have to just double check that all the nodes have been selected. It seems okay. So our independent node is being selected. Our dependent nodes have been selected. Element type is set to RB2, and all DOFs are, are selected, which means this is completely fixed in both translation and rotation. Now we have to just click on create and return. As you can see, our RB2 has been selected and it's been, pl it's been placed in a new uh, in a separate collector. So in this collector called RB2.